vision for the department and how is it aligned with the vision of Lyre in general? Um, the uh, the motto of or the tag the line of the department is to become excellent industrial engineers for our nation. So for our projects, we aim to be able to tap into the IE student department for us to be more involved in the national issues and issues also in the university. So one of our projects is to be able to um, create an avenue for the students to become um, involved in a specific issue that encompasses a lot of people, not only in our university but in the country. And to make them aware that as IE students, we have a role and we have um, the capacity to be able to help in this e in the, uh, and to respond to these issues. Okay. Um, matagal ng issue sa ball court ng Thai, which is the allies, na lack of volunteers. So, how do you plan to address this issue? So, um, for me, kasi, um, the project side ng, ng IRFs, um, hindi uh, na masyadong clear yung goals na like, um, like the purpose of the project, as well as yung methods na gamitin for the proper execution ng project. So, Hold the mic sa baba. Yeah. Um, so for this year, um, we hope to be able to, if oh no, if you demand clear yung goal, um, to realign it a little goal, and or if wala mong, if wala mong goal right now, to actually establish a goal and for the methods of execution to um, align it to the goal and hopefully um, it is full. Um, can we get a uh, more concrete plan on? How, what do you plan to do with the ano, allies? Um, since the allies right now, they're project-based, as we heard from the representatives. What we aim is to be able to tap into them. We must be able to have clear plans at the get-go. Because sometimes we get them but we um, from the planning stage. Pa lang, and they'll be involved. But for now, I guess it's important for them to be involved in the planning. But, for all, but it's also important for them to see that there are already concrete steps and plans of action for every project. So to be able to tap into them, they must be able to see what they're going to go into. Because it's important that they know what they're going to do so that they can put it into the future. Uh, okay. So follow up to that, do you think that effective by the structure of Alay is project-based? Um, um, that was a point of uh, concern for us also because we think that um, given our um, the culture and the way uh, subjects are conducted in the department, I think it's still up for us to have project-based um, allies. But it's also important for them to have continuity. So we aim to have projects because that um, not just last, not just are event-based, but are continuous. So in a sense, we'll be. Well, the allies will still be working for an entire year or for an entire sem, but the pro it's still project based. Okay, so bukod kasi sa allies, problem din sa IEDEP is yung involvement ng students sa projects and events. So how do you plan to establish involvement within the studentry? Like, hindi na kasi ganong effective na incentives lang lagi kasi hindi naman for every project present na may prof na magbibigay na incentive. So other than incentives, what are your other plans? Um, we were told by some of the professors that we consulted that um, it's not just about having a lot of projects or having a lot of events for the students. It's also important to realign with what the students need, what the students need. We have to listen and we have to look at what they want. Na um, parang ang importante kasi is um ma fulfill or like merong um may dedicate sa kanila yung projects and they makukuha sila from the project and of course I think the projects now have that but it's important to establish that na parang yung projects na may dedicate namin may involve sila dahil kailangan nila hindi dahil required sila okay so so in line with what you you have said um ano yung projects ng past IRFs and ng current IRFs yung plan yung event team and improve so na pag usapan na namin finally kung paano gawin yun so ang um, sabi ko na lang yung ano namin yung di namin pang continue so ang um, the first one will be yung converge kasi di ba we're planning to establish a publication na yung point na converge ang um, to show like kung paano nagagamit yung idea in other fields which is ano what we're planning to be focused on in our publication so the other one will be yung um, overview overview yung uh, department general assembly um like like the publication na um, like uh, yung publication na sa solve na yung problem ng like, um, information. So yun, sa so publication natin, paano kayo makahatak ng tao para magsulat? Kasi super big problem na nga sa atin yung allies. So yun, what more kung yung simple 
project responsibilities hindi gusto mag-commit ng ayos paano pa sa isang publication um what we want kasi from the start is um um the plan of us right now is to be able to get a pool of people muna interested um what we want is to um structure muna namin from us para alam nila talaga kung ano yung papasukin nilang trabaho structure na muna namin and we're going to create and structure the board na maghahandle editorial board kasi we want na there's a separate body na hindi kami na maghahandle noon para naman maramdaman nila na yung um, publication hindi siya run by the reps it's run by the students because that's one of the visions of uh, of our slate is to have it with the students uh, follow up to that um hindi ba po um, ay organizations na ay nagpo-provide na ng sort of um, publication to their respective members. So, how can you make your proposed publication different and relevant for IE? And so, we actually consulted this now with the heads of both parts. So, one of the things uh, we wish to um, feature in this is to actually um, showcasing projects ng bawat org. So, for example, sa Siami yung Ishikawa and Pride Cutting Good Karma. And, um, hopefully, mas manama ng mga tao talaga na marami na ako ay ay in years. I, I or sorry, that was yeah. And to add to that, we want to have also involvement from the un unaffiliated IE students. Because um, if we count lang yung from the organizations, that's counting out yung students na wala namang organization. So we want to have an avenue for them also to be involved. Um, so yeah, yung sa, ano naman, yung sa compla utilization. Ano yung, meron naman kayo exact proposed system as to yung, since sasabi nyo is meron kayong system that will ensure accountability. Alright, so um, for this, uh, there there be two ways in which you can uh, reserve a slot. So the first one will be online. Uh, no, make use of a Google form. And the other one will be my logbook for your college secretary. So um, when you're gonna use the computer, you leave your ID with the, with the professor, and then, sorry, the department secretary. And then um, you leave your ID with the um, department secretary. And then um, sa sa mga kanang isang alis, kasi di ba um schedule na siya. So sa sa mga kanang isang alis don and then. And, um, open ka, and then kailangan mo ng picture and, and pakita sa ano na maayos. So, pakidiscuss din yung alalay, like yung three phases niya, kasi hindi ganong clear for us. Um, for alalay, we want to have, um, first the phase is, uh, assessment. Um, kasi there, uh, this, yung, uh, yung, um, info we have na is based from, uh, thesis from a CMC student, and it's more of investigative research, no, uh, finding out what really happens, um, to the students na, um, na, Person, uh, persons with disability in the campus, and we want to assess whether the 2015 study accurate parents to now, and di parin ba na employ yung nangyari before. And then second phase is for us to have given the uh, co uh, continue. given the context. Na ano, we will we want to have um an idea generation. We have uh, we want to have idea generation sessions. Um, with this in line of this is in line with the information gathered na initially. Um, we want to. Um, have uh, the different inputs from students from different batches. Of course, the most uh, applications that we get is from higher batches. Because the uh, main concept that we want to apply is the ergonomics. Because it's not enough that we have solution that we have given to the ramps, we have given to the facilities. But it's important that the facilities that we give are still being used by persons with disabilities na mag may encounter yung structures na to. And then yung last is lobbying and implementation. Um, we we acknowledge that it is highly probable na yung implementation phase will not happen in our term. But what we aim is to be able to complete and to finish yung ilalobby namin na proposals. Kasi um, right now, uh, dun, dun sa nabasa namin, meron namang funding, meron namang people na um, nag-handle ng mga projects na ganito, pero bakit nga ba hindi nagagawa yung projects na pag-build nito? So yun yung aim namin with the project. Sige. Um, as IEs, what have you contributed ba for the development or for the betterment of IE department as IE students? Um, for, for, for me, um, I think rather not just in the IE department, I guess. Uh, so far, um, what I believe in kasi is it's important for us to take yung magkaroon tayo more opportunities. Ganun. So for now, I think being in the department has taught me na um, the students, there, there's, uh, it's important for everyone to have an avenue. So with, in line with that, I want, uh, in this, in our term, to be able to give avenues for students na unaffiliated din. Kasi, um, uh, in our, in my experience, 
uh, hindi ganun karami and hindi ganun ka um, dami opportunities for unaffiliated students. So that's what we want to bring. And so for me naman, I think, oh no, I was able to um, help tie up some way uh, with, the, with the projects I was involved in sa so, um, so IE Club. So um, with that, um, as a project man manager for facilities management, so um, with that, I was able to um, like, kahit ko paano fix na tambayan, and hopefully, like, oh uh, maayos, like, nag-implement niya ako ng bagong system kung paano maayos sa iyo yung tambayan namin, and hopefully magagamit ko to, kung paano rin maayos yung mga projects namin. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ayy.